Hey guys and welcome to a new video from Akinons. In this video, we will learn about args and quags in Python and we will see what does a single asterisk and double asterisk do in our parameters. So I have created a simple code that is a function called as add and it takes in three arguments num1, num2, num3, adds all those values and prints that total. So let me just run this program and show you what happens. So as you can see in the output, the value 60 comes, which is really simple because 10 plus 20 plus 30 gives us the value 60. But now let's say I want to add an n number of numbers in this list of function calls so that every time I add a number, that value will get added to the total variable and get printed. So let me do that. So if I put in 40 over here, and if I run the program, obviously we are going to come an error saying as a type error it's because the add function is only taking three positional arguments, but we are specifying four, which is a problem. Here is where we make use of something called as args. So args is basically called using a single asterisk. So let me do that. And now we need to eliminate all the other variable arguments that we created. And the only argument that will be present is called as asterisk num, which is our args method. And what will happen in this args method, we can pass in a n number of positional arguments and they will be converted in the form of a tuple. So let me show you what will happen. So I'll just change these argument names to num and I'll simply use the sum function, which will calculate all the sum of items present inside the num tuple and that will get returned into the total variable. And now let me just run this program. And as you can see, there is a single positional argument given at the function creation. But when we are calling, we are specifying four calling four arguments and yet there's no error and the perfect output is visible. Likewise, we can make changes in the number of arguments that we specify and that could be n number of amount of calls. And now if I run it, well, there's no errors and our desired output is visible on the output window. So let's see the type of the number variable that we've created. So let me just print type of the num variable that is specified in the arguments as the args method. And if I print that, as you can see, it says class tuple, which means all the data that we are specifying at the function calling gets converted to a form of a tuple and then we make use of the sum function to return its value. Likewise, we also have something called as quags. So quags is useful when we want to create an n number of calls of name value pairs. So now let me explain you how does the quags method actually work. So what I've done is I've created a function called as a print user that takes in a user as an argument. And then I have specified prior to that two asterisk symbols, which means my quags method. And then what I'm doing is I'm saying for name and age in user dot items, we simply will print the name as well as the person's age. So basically I'm creating a loop using the user items method. And now when I'm calling the function, as you can see something peculiar, I am not specifying them in the form of arguments method where else I am using the name value pair method. So I'm saying name is Carl, age is 19. So let's run this and check the output. So as you can see, it says first name is Carl and then age is 19. Well, doesn't that look really cool? So likewise, you can make use of the quags method when you want to call a set of key value pairs without the specification of method arguments. If we check, if we want to check the data type of the user argument that is specified, we can simply do that by printing the type of the data of the user. So I'll do that. So I'll print user comma type of the data. So I'll simply print the type of the user data. And as you can see, the class is a dictionary because it is holding 
a value of key value pairs. So the args and quarks are really special keywords which allow function to take variable length arguments and the args passes variable number to non keyworded arguments list and the quarks passes variable number of keyword arguments in the form of a dictionary. These methods make our function more flexible and easier to use in our projects. So that's it from this quick video where we understood the working of the args and quarks method and we understood how do we implement the single and the double asterisk method. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the Akinon's YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos.